Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on the Barn Channel where I get solutions to all the solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to show grid values, more like um, plotting spot heights on um, software right good. So let's um, import our data. So we go to the um, grid data, then we browse. Good. So we have our file here, spot heights. Let's um, open that up. Now for the data columns, we have, um, okay, let's view the data first up. B is for Eastern, C for Northern, and then D for height, right? Good. So we are going to modify it to X, Y, and then Z, right? But that's um, Eastern, Northern, and height. So we are just going to um, finish. You can decide to keep pressing next if you would want to see the other options right good so now let's click on finish so the grid file has been created and then um, this is the grading report now we have um, by default the contour has been plotted right good so now let's come up to the specialty and then we click on grid values now the grid values will come from the grid file that was created right good so we select that and then we open it up so you can now see what the spot height yeah the heights of those um, points have been defined right good so um they are not really like the way we used to have it conventionally if you look at the decimal numbers look at the size and you know the markers and the rest of that so we can actually modify them we can actually modify them right good. so now let's click on it then come up to properties now under the properties we have um the density that means how much it is being populated how much of the grid values have been populated on our surface, right? But now let's call this the surface on the contour surface. So if we increase it, we are going to see the effect on how much is populated on what the X, the X frequency. And then if we also do similar thing, we are also going to see how it what if um, affects effect it to give them um, towards the Y frequency, right? But so as we increase, we see that the numbers get fewer. And then when we reduce, we see that what the numbers are what are getting more right good. So this is how um, we can actually modify what the the display of the grid values on that aspect. Now, if you want to show grid lines, perhaps you just have to show it if you want to. And again, let's come down to symbols. The symbols are what the symbols that are used to represent what the points of the spot I tried with. So if you want to use what we have as default, you can. But then um, I want us to look at what the labels, right? Good. Now let's click on these font properties. If we increase the size of the font, we see now that they are overlapping because of what the decimal, right? Good. So we are also going to work on the decimal. So let's come down to the label format. Now under the label format, that the label of our um, grid values, right? Good. That in this case our spot height. We are going to see that the type is under compact. However, what we need is fixed. Now when we put it on fixed, we can now change the decimal number to something smaller. Let's say two, right? Good. So which means we are going to have two values after what the decimal. So you now see it's a bit presentable. So you can decide to increase it to three, four, five, or maybe even make it what one or zero, which is what like an old number. But it's always best we have what decimal. We can also include them, um, or let's say insert them um, a suffix to show the unit right good. So that's um, 27.58 meters and um, 20, 27.80 meters and the rest of that right good. So these are some of the modifications that um, you can do on the what on the grid values that you have displayed which we are um, liking to what the spot height on today's tutorial right good so um do we still have to do anything make it bold or maybe italicized mm -hmm. or the rest of that right good so remember you can increase the font size which um, we have told you earlier right good so you now see that the overlap is no longer much again because decimals decimal number has been what has been reduced right good 
so you can also change the color and you know so let's still look if we can see that the coordinate system most times we don't usually set it but if you want to we just um, set this is actually projected utm ws1984 and then um, maybe you just scroll down towards the zone then you select the zone right good let's come back to contents this is for what the grid values right good that this map let's look at the contour map we can decide to put this out put it back on if we don't want it to be um, shown on the what if you don't want to overlay you don't want to show the overlay right good so we can just keep it like this so you can still see it under your contents let me just put this out Good, so you can see it under your contents, but then um, you can control if it is being displayed or not, right? Good. Now let's put that out. Let's look at the contours. Maybe if you also want to work on what DSM axis, you can actually work on the axis, right? See the right axis has been removed. Similarly, we can do that for the left, for the top, and then maybe for the bottom, right? Good, then we can still put this back on. Then we also take off the axis on the what on the spot height. So we have what the contour values and the contour lines rather and the spot height. So there are different ways you can actually modify them. You know, it enhances your maybe the, the visualization of your data and then perhaps the results that um, you want to achieve. Right? Good. So remember, you can still um, export this um, to maybe. AutoCAD or maybe as a shape file or as a case may be right good. So let's do that maybe if we don't have any other modification to do again. Okay, so we are just going to leave it this way and then export right. Either you use this um, shortcut or you come down to file and then you click on export. So still on our folder, spot heights, and then let's say we want to use a um, S3 shape file. Let's say spot sides and then contours, right? So we can decide to access the file that we have just um, exported, right? Good. So we have it here, and then we can just um, open it up on the JS um, software to see how it what how it shows or how it displays, right? Good. So we are on QJS now. Control Shift V. That helps you to import what um, vector data, right? Good. So this is our folder. Let's um, sort these to S3 shape files. Then we can decide to bring in the both of them. We add and close. So CRS is not defined. So we can just decide to define it as um, zone 32 if possible and then zone 32 right good so when we now zoom to layer the both of them should now fall um, exactly where they are supposed to fall so we have the okay let's put that out we have what the contour lines and then by extension the spot height so normally the spot heights are always what um, exported and then imported um, via sheet file as what in polygon right good so thanks for coming to class we open we have shown you how to show what um grid values that's um, how to show what spot heights as um, we used to call it conventionally and then we have also shown you how to export you can still export as what um dxf file if you also want to access it um, on autocad right good so Thanks for coming to class. We hope to see you on the next um, tutorial. Ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time. Bye.